Hello everyone, I'm Sophie and I'm currently at Kachara Forest Retreat, Bentong, Malaysia. This is the book that I'll be reading from today. This is the, a new book that I'm starting on. This is Unleashing Buddha Nature, Personal Accounts of Those Touched and, uh, sorry, what is it? Reformed through the teachings of His Eminence, the 25th Sam Toku Rinpoche. This book is actually um, individual stories of um, Rinpoche's students and how they came into the Dharma, how they met our Guru and how um, Rinpoche changed their lives. And um, so at, as, uh, at the start of every book, um, there's, um, I will, this is a picture of my Guru, uh, His Eminence, the 25th, Sam Toko Rinpoche. And uh, looking at the picture, to our left is uh, Kapje Trijang Rinpoche and the centre is Kapje Pabongka Rinpoche and to our right is Kapje Zong Rinpoche who is Rinpoche's root guru. Right, so with the start of every book, there's a short introduction, short biography of our guru and the preface and also a foreword. So I'll be doing that for this session. So, His Eminence, the 25th Sam Toko Rinpoche, a short biography. Beloved for his unconventional contemporary approach to Dharma, His Eminence, the 25th Sam Rinpoche, brings more than 25,000 years of Buddhist wisdom and teachings to the modern spiritual seeker by connecting ancient worlds with new people, cultures, attitudes, and lifestyles. A Mongolian-Tibetan heritage, a childhood in Taiwan and in the United States, intensive monastic studies in India, and now the spiritual advisor of Kachara Buddhist organization in Malaysia. These are but some of the many facets that contribute to Sam Rinpoche's unique ability to successfully bridge the East and the West. His teachings bring the Dharma to our everyday lives, and in doing so, he is able to bring ancient time-honored Buddhist philosophies and practices into the 21st century. Sam Rinpoche has been strongly inclined towards Dharma since his early childhood and has studied under many great Buddhist masters of the Tibetan tradition. He eventually went on to receive his monastic education at Ganden Shatse Monastery, currently located in Mangot, South India. Following the advice of his beloved guru, His Holiness Kapje Zong Rinpoche, Sam Rinpoche took his vows as a monk and joined Ganden Shatse Monastery when he was in his early 20s. Sam Rinpoche's connection with Ganden Shatse Monastery goes back far goes far back in history. One of his previous incarnations, Dozin Drakpa Gelson, built the original Ganden Monastery in Tibet. Another one of his incarnations, Panchen Sonam Drakpa, was not only the abbot of Ganden Shatse Monastery, but also the 15 Ganden Tripa, the throne holder of the Galupa lineage. Sam Rinpoche's two immediate preceding incarnations, Gadun Nedra and Kentro Tupten Langsang Rinpoche, had also studied at Ganden Shatze Monastery in Tibet, where they obtained Geshe Lamram degrees before completing their studies at Gyoto Tantric College. Notably, Panchen Sonam Drakpa was also the abbot of Gyoto Tantric College. Gedun Nedrak went on to become the chant master, Umze, and later the 72nd abbot of Ganden Monastery, while Kentrul Rinpoche brought the Dharma to the lay people of the Pari district of Tibet. The tremendous and virtuous works of his previous lifetimes, which includes such illustrious names as Magadha Sangmo, a student of the historical Buddha, Mahasiddha Virupa, Tommy Sambota, King Trison Detson, Mahasiddha Naropa, Losatwa Loden Sherap, Ra Lotsawa, Shakya Sri Badra, Butong Rinching Drup, Shakya Pandita, 
and Qing Dynasty Kangxi, sorry, Qing Emperor Kangxi, was clearly reflected in Sam Rinpoche's present day at activities in Malaysia, where he continues his selfless practice of teaching vast numbers of non monastic communities in places where the Dharma has just begun to bloom. During his nine years in Ganden, Sam Rinpoche was involved in intensive in extensive charitable works, including building schools for refugee children in India, constructing dormitories, and upgrading living conditions for the monastic community, and providing long-term assistance to the poor lay community of Mangal. Through his constant practice of generosity, with a deeply altruistic motivation, Sam Rinpoche continues to sponsor Ganden's work and activities. Sam Rinpoche tirelessly shares new ways and means of bringing happiness and relief to people from all walks of life through creative and engaging methods. Now based in Malaysia, Sam Rinpoche continues this immense work through Kachara, the progressive spiritual organization he founded, bringing benefit to many around the world. Be inspired by His Eminence the 25th Sam Rinpoche's work and life at samtuku.com and share in his personal views, thoughts and news at samrinpoche.com Now, the foreword by Datuk May Peng, who was the president of Kachara House. If one were to examine how much time His Eminence the 25th Sam Rinpoche spent in Taiwan, where he was born, the United States, where he was raised, and India, where he was educated in ancient Buddhist wisdom and philosophy, there is actually no place where he has spent more, than his life, more of his life than in Malaysia. Since Rinpoche first arrived in Malaysia over 20 years ago, Many wonderful people from all walks of life have flocked to study at his feet, from bankers, lawyers and businessmen to housewives, writers, engineers and artists. These individuals have been inspired by Rinpoche's teachings and have in turn spread Lama Tsongkhapa's tradition to the world within their own capacities, capabilities and methods. It has not been an easy journey building up the Kachara organization from a small single shop lot to what it is now, a multitude of departments, in initiatives and a 35-acre forest retreat centre. The success of the organization today was made possible through Rinpoche's guidance and advice and with the commitment and dedication of students who worked hard and devoted their lives to benefiting others. We have spent much time together discussing, talking and encouraging one another and as a result, we have many stories to tell. This book is a result of one of such meetings. It is a collection of behind-the-scenes stories about the guru-disciple relationship with our Rinpoche and illustrates what has made Kachara so successful. Like any relationship, there have, sorry, there have invariably been good times and difficult times and times which tested our faith and tenacity. But Kachara today is a testament that doing work with a good motivation will lead to a beneficial result, regardless of the obstacles. The men and women who authored the stories here are no different to you and me. This is them showing how the essence of Tibetan Buddhism can still be practiced in the 21st century. Thus, this book serves as a reminder of how ordinary people can become extraordinary by virtue of their faith in the Three Jewels. Through the publication of this book, may many people be moved to spiritual practice, to meet authentic teachers from authentic lineages, and to serve Lama Tsongkhapa's tradition here in Malaysia and all over the world. Datuk May Peng, President Kachara House. And now the editor's preface. Having never met Rinpoche before and throughout the duration of the creation of this book, 
I find I found myself discovering the person whom so many regard highly through the heartfelt words and examples shared by those who were touched by his wisdom. It may come as a surprise to many, the methods, mannerism and openness of Rinpoche, but I, find mus- I found myself liberated by his polarizing approach to what may- many consider as traditional Buddhism. My deepest experience with Buddhism was in 2010, when my wife and I spent a month helping the to document a Buddhist pilgrimage of over 300 people as they visited the four holy sites of the Buddha in India. Having witnessed as a third party how one experiences and interprets the words and teachings of the Buddha, it came as no surprise that even some of those who took temporary ordination, shaved their heads and wore the robes are perhaps still held victim of their own success and delusions of entitlement. I was the casual outsider, entrusted with the task of unbiased documentation without a director, but the experience of intimately watching how different people perceive their faith proved great study and the catalyst of my path to spiritual discovery and inner peace. I harbored many questions during that period, oftentimes chastised upon and regarded with disdain at my perhaps shallow understanding of the teachings and I found myself questioning if there was a different approach to each individual spiritual awakening. I've always been the one to ask the obvious, even though uncertainty is always the prevalent answer. Is there a reason for the excessive show of reverence that seems to be required in Asian cultures? Are the monks themselves bound by societal norms that it hinders their efforts to help those in need? Doesn't overly focusing on achieving merits rather than understanding the intentions and the reasons why cultivate selfish desires of a better outcome upon time of reincarnation? A few people focus on the why, oftentimes because the answer is not something easily accepted when told. One has to undergo significant inspection and self-discovery for the meaning to be ingrained deep within one's soul. Throughout the course of this book, you will find a myriad of methods many times deemed incomprehensible or a manifestation of Rinpoche's wrath. Wrath of Rinpoche was the working title of the book before final print and again as a casual outsider. I find myself surprised at the boldness and wisdom of Rinpoche's actions. The most consistent feedback about Rinpoche is that he always knows the right method for every disciple, and I see in the trials and tribulations that he puts them through unnecessary as they initially seem. The best and the brightest are always those who have let go of their sense of self and found a deeper meaning behind his methods. It's that spark, that moment of self-discovery, which proves to be lifelong lessons cherished by each disciple that have come to know him as family. I hope, through the words of each person in this book, you too can find a spark to light the candle of knowledge. So, I will end this session here and as um, I shared from the ed- well this actually the editor's preface was quite good because he was actually a, a um, someone who was impartial and um, as he said you know in the course of writing this book he learned a lot of things about Rinpoche and his methods all the different methods for each and every student and somehow, you know, it works. <laughs> so especially, if, and the results are, are, you know, how do you mean? The results are, are more um, apparent in those who actually had let go and, and uh, realised, you know, what Rinpoche is helping them with. So that, and as he said, you know, we hope that uh, as... Uh, I go into this book that each story of the first, uh, the student would be able to inspire you 
to actually begin your spiritual path. So thank you for joining me and let us complete this with a completion dedication prayer. Uh, we'll do it in Tibetan. Jangju Sancho Rinpoche, Maki Panam Geishi, Kepanam Pame Payang, Goni Gondu Pewashu, Doni Toa Rinpoche, Maki Panam Geishi, Kepanam Pame Payang, Goni Gondu Pewashu, Daso Jini Sampagi Wadi, Tanandro Aguna Kampadang, Jepa Jesu Nosan Trapai, Tamping in Porin to Sa Seisho, Kewa Kuntu Yandala Madan, Dromi Choki Pala Lancho Ching, Sadam Nangi Yoterazon, Doji Changi or Panga to So, Kewa Dean Yududa, Lama Sangyo Druyone, Drowa Chikia Malupa, De Salago Pasho, Choki Kyo Posunga Pa, Chosunam Pape Wala, Geki Sama Siwa Dan, Tunki Malu Sangwa Sho, Dadam Sengi Dusundan, Dreamy Songi Latini, Gewa Losan Trapai, Tampa Yuri Vagu, Shi, Nimo Deles and Dele, Nimigo Nyandela Shi, Nisin Tatu Delepe, Concho Songi Jingi Lob, Concho Songi Ngodruso, Concho Songi Trasi Sho, Jesu Lama Kusan Rap Ting Ching, Nam Katrini Chocho Kepa Dang, Losam Tempe Draw Me Sam Songi, Draw Him Munsa Tato Ni Gu Shi. Gangri Rao we ko we shing kam den, pen dan deo o malu gyu we ni, chen ren zik wan ten sing gyat so yi, sha pe shi di ba du ten gyu shi. Hum, tong ping o tru malu pa, den de da la sel du so, ko dan den pa long shot nam, ki pa su shi shuk ten sel. Thank you, and do join me as I move on to the actual part of the sharing from Rinpoche's students. See you.